This video had made national headlines right when it surfaced earlier this month in the last 45 minutes the GBI explained the charges three deputies will now face channel 2's Tom Regan live for us now in DeKalb County at GBA headquarters and Tom how is this investigation playing out yeah, George, it turns out the Brunswick District Attorney asked the GBI to do an independent probe into this jailhouse beating. Agents interviewed that detainee and the deputies involved, and the GBI decided to bring criminal charges against several of those corrections officers. The brutal beatdown was captured on security cameras in the Camden County Jail in coastal Georgia back in September. It shows detainee Jared Hobbs, a black man from North Carolina, being repeatedly punched in the head and neck by a group of deputies. He'd been arrested on a traffic violation and drug possession charge. The video shows Hobbs standing alone in his cell before five guards rush in and surround him. Several can be seen landing punches before the 41-year-old gets dragged from his cell and thrown against the wall. As a citizen, I, my reaction was like anyone else. Uh, you know, it, it shocked the conscience. But I've also been in law enforcement long enough to understand that we have to stop, take a knee, and look at the facts. Three deputies are now charged with battery of an inmate and violating oath of office. They're identified as Mason Garrick, Braxton Massey, and Ryan Beagle. They have also been fired. The other two employees involved face disciplinary charges. I believe that the majority of men and women who wear a badge in this country truly seek to protect and serve. Unfortunately, some discredit the profession, the badge, and the oath they swore to uphold. An attorney representing the detainee and his family this afternoon praised the GBI for bringing charges against those fired deputies who he called thugs. He again criticized the sheriff for allegedly sitting on this investigation for two months. Live in DeKalb County, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.